Hi, this is Justice, and I am super excited because we have a brand new feature in Tablet Pro that is something I've been asking for and trying to get implemented for a couple of years, and I think you guys will like this a lot. So this is a very sexy, very slim artist pad that we have named the Slim Mode. Artist pad, slim, small, medium, and large. So let's go ahead and jump over to the desktop and I'm, I'm going to show you this. Uh, we've updated the pen tool as well to give you the options for controlling this in a number of different ways. All right, so we're on my desktop and you can see over here the slim artist pad. In the past, there was kind of a workaround using the side mode that you could make it look kind of like this, but it didn't function super well. And this is wonderful. This one is included in all of the uh, new presets that are uh, in the pen tool. And we just recently added the pen tool um, presets into uh, right here. So these are being stored in the pen tool now and you can see browse, default, and open. And we've also added, so that default location is where these files are at. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the other place you can find it. So right here, if you right click, you should now have an open presets folder and you can see here the date 2-22-22. And all of these should have that new slim mode at the very bottom, artist pad slim. And this, all this information is what is right over here. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's look at what's on here. And we're gonna right click and choose tooltip to turn these on. Key press OSD. So if you don't have KeyPress OSD, this is my favorite um, KeyPress displaying software. It does a lot of different things, but it also does quick snippets. So if I type TP, it expands out to Tablet Pro. JEML expands out here. This is awesome. And if you're doing tablet only work, this is going to save you a ton of time. KeyPress OSD, I'll put the link in the description. So here, this is screenshot. This is shift. This is a, a one second toggle. So if you have uh, a couple items here, so let's go back into the presets folder. So if I want to go here and select here, then I just tap this and then I can group select. That's shift, it lasts for one second, so you have to be quick. Okay, this is copy, paste, backspace, select all, escape, very important, Cortana, this is the touch keyboard right here. By the way, there's some really cool uh, options here for, uh, let's see, what is it? Win B to have uh, your clipboard history. So I'll, I'll need to go into a video on that in the future. Touch keyboard, this is the OSK, the on-screen keyboard, and you can get this uh, open to whatever size you want. And what I like about this is you can do things like uh, connecting a bunch of modifiers. It's, it's a more powerful touch keyboard. Uh, enter, redo, undo, tab, translucency. This is super important. Uh, let's go ahead and lock the pen tool and go back over here to the default one we were looking at. Okay, so let's say you're in a program like OneNote and you're trying to take notes and you're watching a video or you're on a conference call, if you tap this right here, you can see what's going on behind. So you can see the person talking um, quite nicely. And let's go ahead and grab stylus. And so if you're doing this, this, this allows you to have a lot more real estate. And if you're using OneNote, you can use the artist pad from Tablet Pro for one of the, the medium sized one and it has um, more functions than this. But if you wanna have a, a really big open screen. This is just a slimmer version. All right, so let's undo and look at the rest of these. This is right mouse button. This is alt with a one second toggle. So again, you have to use it quickly. And the win key. And right here is show and hide the taskbar. And I actually really like that right over there because frankly, the whole screen looks so nice when you have the taskbar hidden and you have a program open. The keyboard shortcuts are displayed right here. I like bringing these over a little bit to the side and this will show what you're doing. 
all sorts of different things here. Again, that's key press OSD. And then uh, this, you can go through these different modes using keyboard shortcuts. So launching, when shift Z will launch whatever is the appropriate mode for whatever is open. And then when shift nine does the slim, when shift zero does small, minus does medium, and when shift plus does large. And all of this looks a lot better if we use uh, one that has something already something in there. Ta-da! Pretty cool. Okay, those are just some quick little shortcuts. All right, you guys, this is the new Slim Artist Pad from Tablet Pro, and I'm really, really excited about it. Here you can see it. it's listed here at the bottom. Uh, I have these all set, by the way, at five, a height of five, and I have them all spaced out every five. So there's no gaps in the artist pad in the layout editor. So all of them, they just match up uh, from one number to the next and the gaps are defined in these settings over here. So I suggest button margin. I like this set at five, depends on the resolution of your screen. You can adjust that however it seems best to you. You can actually input a number like two or something as well. All right, you guys, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of what we're doing. I'm so glad that we have such a great community. Uh, if you guys are using the pen tool, if you're using Tablet Pro Artist Pad, please go into Rate App, Show Settings. You can click right here and it'll open up directly to the rating on the store. You can submit your rating there. Um, please also rate up the Tablet Pro the manager app as well. We have ratings uh, 3.9 and 3.4, and I would really like to get both apps up to four stars, and I need your help. We've had quite a few one-star ratings. Uh, because of uh, settings and different things that broke, and we've been working, I've been working so hard to improve those things. So take a second, please uh, comment in the comment section. If you guys have different features you'd like in Tablet Pro, or if you rated the app up, or if you have questions. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.